I'm Dorit from QBooks Consulting. I'm a QuickBooks Certified Pro Advisor. Last time I showed you how to create memorized transaction in QuickBooks. If you missed this QuickBooks Quick Tip, please go to my website at www.qbooksconsulting.ca. Today I'm going to show you how to manage, view, or edit your memorized transaction in QuickBooks. If you have created any memorized transactions, from time to time you may need to edit them. To open the window that displays the list of these items, click on Lists and click on Memorize Transaction List. Control T will achieve the same results. You can manually enter any of these transactions. Just double click the one you want to enter and the entry pops up with the date you set in the Next Date field. Once you save the entry, your Memorize Transaction Next Date is set to the next posting date. If your transaction has changed, for example the insurance amount has changed from 385 to 395, make your changes and then rememorize the transaction. You do this by clicking on Edit, Memorize Check, or whatever type of transaction it is. Here a window pops up asking you whether you want to replace your existing transaction, add a new memorized transaction, or cancel saving this transaction because you hit the wrong key or changed your mind. I'm going to click Replace and you can see the amount has now changed to 395. There are three different ways to edit the schedule for any of these items, all achieving the same results. You can right click on the transaction you wish to edit and then click Edit Memorize Transaction. You can left click once on the transaction click on Memorize Transaction here at the bottom of the window and then click Edit Memorize Transaction or you can hit the Control E. These all get you to the same Schedule Memorize Transaction window. Now you can make any changes you need to like resetting the date to the next month and click OK when you are done. You can see your Memorize Transaction list on your Reminders list. How to set the preferences on your reminders list will be discussed next time. I hope you found this QuickBooks Quick Tip useful. To get the most out of your QuickBooks software, visit my website at www.qbooksconsulting.ca.